Hello guys and welcome to the long-awaited room tour of mine. I guess things have changed here and there around my room but before the room tour I'd like to explain the layout of my room because there's a lot of consequences and first of all it is pretty hard to capture the 360 degree view of my room in the previous way. I would say the space is very limited for my camera to turn around and the lighting is just not it so I will have to say that my entire room layout looks better in person so here's a clearer view from my phone since the lighting is it's not that strong. Alright, so let's get started with my room tour. My room is mostly filled with white tones because I feel like it expands the space more compared to dark colors. It also makes me feel more positive minded when the colors are bright. I like to show you my favorite part of the room which is definitely my desk. I pretty much work on my desk every day regardless of YouTube work or school work. And first of all, the desk is from Ikea and in the middle I have this book stand where I use for my iPad whenever I complete drawing assignments. By the way, I'm a creative multimedia student which also stands for graphic design design or multimedia design so I do lots of creative work on my space. I also made an apple pencil holder using polymer clay so I have somewhere to store my apple pencil and underneath this monitor stand is where I keep random objects. I keep some receipts because I use an expenses tracker and the rest are just random knickknacks. And over here I have my d room speaker which is another item that I absolutely love. Other than the cute display, I use this as my morning alarm clock and study timer. I also have a cable organizer on my desk which is something I use to store mostly my camera stuff such as the batteries, charger, SD cards and whatever you can think of. And I got this for a very cheap price on Taobao, super worth it and highly recommend. And on the side, I have this Greek statue thing where I store two paintbrushes. And fun fact, I use these brushes to brush off dust from my keyboard. Then I have this IKEA like drawer where I put my old camera on top. Camera investments are so big and they take up so much money. And I would recommend starting with a phone. I also have this mini Chloe perfume and don't get me wrong, I can't afford luxury perfume. My mom happened to receive mini samples from her purchase, so that's how I got it. Alright, so let's take a look inside these drawers. I keep things from my Etsy and Shopee shop in the first drawer. And I have memo pads that I don't bother to use anymore on the second one. Journaling has been quite distant from me since 2020. And lastly, I have stickers on the third drawer. And next I have this calendar I got from Taobao which I put inside this acrylic piece from IKEA. It's already July and I forgot to switch it to July. I feel like I have nothing done so far and it's already July so jokes on me on that. My desk lamp is from BenQ and I have talked about this in one of my videos before. This lamp is one of my favorite things on my desk and it has been very helpful to me whenever I have to draw or edit during the night time. I also have a mini trash can which I use to store glue tapes and back clips whenever I want to have a snack. And I got this on Shopee and it's super cute and I'll have the link in the description box down below. If you guys are curious on what laptop I use, it is the Asus VivoBook S15. I've been using this for 3 years now for editing and other work. And my laptop stand is from Lenshin, another good lifesaver of mine. Next, I want to talk about my mechanical keyboard. I got this from Whistles and it is the Whistles V84 keyboard. This one comes with 84 keys and supports Mac and Windows. I always wanted a mechanical keyboard because first of all, it would look very good on my desk and second of all, the sounds make me want to work for the entire day. I just really like it. I'm the one who always watches um, you know, ASMR keyboard sounds on YouTube and it just makes me want to buy one and now that I have one, my life is complete. I switched the keycaps to suit my laptop as I type more on my laptop and not only that but Resource has their own linear switches and this sounds very blocky and not noisy in my opinion. It is like a 20% clicky and 80% blocky sounds in my opinion. I also really like their lighting effects. There's up to 19 backlit effects and the colors are just gorgeous.
It also comes with a magnetic rubberized feet and it helps me to type more comfortably and to see the keyboard better. The Vistos V84 keyboard can pair up to 5 devices so here's the footage of me switching back and forth between my iPad and laptop. Also feel free to use the code GO to get a $10 discount off on the Vessels V84 keyboard. Alright, let's jump back to my video. Now let's move on to the right side of my desk. I have the same drawer as the previous one but smaller and I used to store some watercolors in here because I need to do some painting sometimes and next to this drawer is a double tier rack. I have this study timer from Mini and I might have to give this to my sister because she's studying way more than I do and for the fact that I mainly do art related work for now. And then I have this chrome cup set which I use for display purposes. I mean it looks good so why not? Then I have this small tin container to store paper clips and beside it is a small jewelry case that I use to keep my rings in. And underneath this rack is another box sort of thing which I use to keep sticker sheets and nice art prints. Moving on to this corner is what I call a useless corner. I rarely touch or use the things I put here. But I do have this tin to keep stationaries. And then I also have this air humidifier which I rarely use. And then some dried flowers in an airtight case. And then we have crystals to manifest some luck and good energy. I also have this drawer set my parents got for me from Muji. I bought a lot of alcohol wipes because I need to have my screens clean whenever I film or edit my videos. I also have some new eyeshadows in here. Next to it is a BTS print I found on Pinterest. I just find it very pretty so I printed it out to frame. And on the end is a mirror because sometimes I like to do my makeup here because the sunlight shoots directly in here and my makeup looks much better done in natural light. Then I have this organizer which I just throw in some random items for aesthetic purposes. I actually combined this IKEA shelf unit with my desk so it has this L shape and I keep the most random items here and right next to it is actually the door to my bathroom and then we have a Tom and Jerry floor mat here from Miniso. Underneath my desk is another drawer unit where I keep my art supplies and I also keep some items for packing orders like bubble mailers, translucent paper and more. Next to my bathroom door is my cupboard. Part of me didn't want to film the room tour because I wanted to change this old cupboard into a new one. But this one has been with me for about 10 years and I'm not a huge fan of the color and the sliding doors are not working well. Now let's move on to the IKEA card. I keep a lot of paper products here whether it's for my shop or to send gifts for someone. And I mainly keep packing items for my shop here too actually but I don't really use them because my orders are very inconsistent. Next to the cart is a bedside table from IKEA. The framework is actually done by me so I'm really proud even though it's a really easy one. And I put some nice useful decor up here, the candle holder from IKEA, my Pandora box, sanitizer, and cute tissue paper. Inside is where I keep all my skincare and makeup products. I also keep a bottle of lotion on the carpet because my skin gets really dry and then a mini trash bin for dirty makeup wipes. And now onto my bed. My bed is just really basic. I have not done anything much to make it look better but most importantly is my sleep. And on my bed I have two flushies to cuddle on every night. Last but not least is this rack that I use to store my tote bags and handbags. I'll make a video on some new handbags soon. And that's all for my room tour. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!